Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about MCQ on multiple pregnancy. So let's start a question. When five fetuses develops in the uterus, it is known as option C option A triplet, option B quadruplet, option C quintuplet, option D sextuplet. So here the correct option is option C quintuplet. So here two fetuses is known as twin. 3 fetuses, triflets, 4 fetuses, quadruplets, 5 fetuses, quintuplets, and 6 fetuses is known as sextuplets. Okay, try to remember this important word. So, next question number 2 Which is the most common variety of multiple pregnancy? Option C, option A, triplets, option B, twins, option C, quadruplets, option D, quintuplets. So here the correct option is option B, twins. So twins pregnancy is the most common variety of multiple pregnancy. Next question number three. Results from the fertilization of two ova is known as option C, option A, dizygotic twins. In short, you can say DZ. Option B, monozygotic twins. In short, you can say MZ. Option C, zygocity. Option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is option A, dizygotic twins. So here monozygotic means it is the result from the fertilization of single ovum. Zygocity refers to the genetic makeup of twin pregnancy. Next question number four. Chorionicity is determined by the timing of option C, option A, embryo division, option B, implantation, option C, crystallization, option D, placentation. So here the correct option is option A, embryo division. Okay. In this embryo division, for the first 12 hours after conception, the fertilized egg remains a single cell. After 30 hours or so, it divides from one cell into two. Some 15 hours later, the two cells divide to become four. Okay. During the first eight or nine days after conception, the cells that will eventually form embryo continue to divide. Here, implantation, it refers specifically to the attachment of the fertilized egg to the uterine lining which occurs approximately six or seven days after conception or you can say in short implantation means act of setting in firmly here crystallization is a phase early in the embryonic development during which the blastula is recognized into a multi-layer structure known as gastrula okay so placentation means the arrangement of placenta or formation of placenta Next question number five. In monozygotic twins, there is option C, option A, single placenta, option B, two placenta, option C, two placenta with completely separated, option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is option A, single placenta. So next question number six. What type of twins are always of the same sex? Option C, option A, dizygotic twins. Option B, monozygotic twins. Option C, uniofular twins. Option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is Option C, uniofular twins. Next question number seven. While twins having opposite sex are almost always option C, option A, dizygotic twins. Option B, monozygotic twins. Option C, uniofular twins. Option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is Option A, dizygotic twins. In dizygotic twins only, opposite sex of fetuses are developed. Next question number 8. Prevalence of dizygotic twins is related to option C, option A, race, option B, hereditary, option C, both A and B, option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is option C, both A and B. Okay. So here in the race, the frequency is highest amongst Negroes, lowest amongst Mongols, and intermediate amongst Caucasians. Okay, here in hereditary, there is a hereditary predisposition likely to be more transmitted through the female, that is, from maternal side. Advancing is also another cause of 
multiple pregnancies. So here in advancing age of the mother, increased incidence of twinning is observed with the advancing age of the mother, the maximum being between the age of 30 and 35 years. The incidence of twin is markedly reduced thereafter. Next question number 9. Fertilization of two ova released in different menstrual cycles is known as option or option A, superfetation, option B, superfecundation, option C, fetus papyracius, option D, fetus acardiacus. So here the correct option is option A, superfetation. Next question number 10. In what condition part of one fetus remains amorphous and becomes parasitic without a heart? Here amorphous means having no definite shape, form or structure. Okay, without structure, one fetus remains. Okay, here the options are option A, fetus acardius, option B, vanishing twin, option C, fetus papyracius, option D, superfetation. So here the correct option is option A, fetus acardius. Okay, this fetus acardius, it develops without a heart and receives its blood supply from its twin through vascular connections on the flesh and tear. Next question number 11. What is the condition where one of the fetuses dies early and the dead fetus is flattened, mummified and compressed between the membranes of the living fetus and the uterine wall? Option share option A. Super fecundation. Option B. Super fetation. Option C. Fetus papyracius. Option D. None of the above. So here the correct option is. Option C. Fetus papyracious or you can say compressors here in the diagram you can see how it looks next question number 12 in multiple pregnancy what type of complication is increased three times over than a single turn pregnancy option share option a anemia option b preeclampsia option c hydramnios option d antivartam hemorrhage so here the correct option is Option B, preeclampsia. Next question number 13. In multiple pregnancy, maternal death is mostly due to option share option A, hemorrhage, option B, preeclampsia, option C, anemia, option D, all of the above. So here the correct option is option D, all of the above. So next question number 14. Intrauterine death of one fetus is more in option share option a monozygotic twins option b dizygotic twins option c uniofular twins option d none of the above so here the correct option is option a monozygotic twins next question number 15 in monozygotic twins the affected fetus simply finishes if a loss occurs in option share option a first trimester Option B, second trimester. Option C, third trimester. Option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is option A, first trimester. Okay. But if the date of one fetus occurs in second trimester, then a fetus papyracious or compressors may form. And here in first trimester, the fetus simply it used to finished. Okay.